Hey, I'm Raymond. Uh, I go to Memorial High and I'm a junior there. Uh, I'm Bill. I go to Memorial High in Midnight Grade. I'm Varun. I go to Memorial High School and I'm a senior. I'm Stuart. I'm uh, also a senior at Memorial High School. I'm Dara. I go to Westchester Academy and I'm a freshman. We We've all been there. Um, you want to exercise, but you lack the motivation. We have created a solution to that. So this is a uh, gadget, I guess you could say, that shocks you um, when um, it encourages you, encourages you to keep exercising. So with this setting, I can control the time by increasing or decreasing the time using either buttons. I can change the power factor. Um, right now I'm on 10%. I can change the sensitivity and uh, to start it I double tap this button and it should be starting. So you can adjust the time of your workout, the intensity of the shock and uh, the sensitivity uh, for it to be shocked. So if you want it to not shock you at a light jog then you'd want a low sensitivity. <laughs> the question came up about uh, the marketability of such a project earlier, and uh, I'd like to point out that there's actually a product kind of similar to this. You can actually buy it on Amazon. It was featured on Shark Tank four years ago. It's called Pavlog, but the problem with that is that it costs $200 on Amazon. The bill of materials for our prototype right here was $7. Um, that's not including, you know, the human resources and time that went into that. we could actually improve on this were the uh, filament we printed with. We assumed that they would have flexible filament here, which they do not. So um, it's a little uncomfortable to wear right now, but if it was printed with a flexible filament, um, it fit around your arm a lot easier. And the uh, one last thing for it is that uh, to compact all the circuitry, we could actually use PCBs or print printed circuit boards, um, and we would use surface mount uh, components instead of Here's a 3D model for our uh, spinal design. We I designed it in Fusion 360. It's free for students, it's professional CAD software, and uh, it's really useful for hobbyists and students. I uh, was able to design this 3D printable model. This is a schematic. Uh, it's only for the boost converter portion of the design. Uh, the boost converter uses an inductor, which is a, a coil of wire, to convert a low voltage to a high voltage. Uh, it does that by storing magnetic energy in the coil and then cutting it off and the magnetic field collapses. This is a high voltage. Um, it also contains the, the AT mega and the voltage regulation. Uh, we used uh, Eagle CAD to design the um, schematic and also PCB. It was a really great experience. The award that both signified